Scamall introduces an innovative new method of building a fireplace enclosure. Scamatech 225, the one product solution. Simplifying the construction process to one building material and eliminating the need for any type of frame construction. The Scamatech Advantage? All the material that you require to build your fireplace enclosure can be constructed from Scamatech 225. And you can use any common woodworking tools. Before you begin, plan your layout to determine your material requirements and make a pre-cut list. When cutting Scamatech 225 material, make sure your work surface is flat and stable to avoid any unnecessary damage to the product. You must remember to moisten all joining surfaces before applying any recommended adhesives. This will help prevent Scamatech 225 from drying out too quickly. You can find a list of recommended adhesives and fasteners in the current Scamatech Installer's Guide. Start with the installation of the back wall. In most cases, you will need to create support blocking before installing your back panels. Your support blocking should measure one and a half inches wide. This is to provide air space between Scamatech 225 and existing combustible walls. Check your local building department for requirements in your area and also, refer to the fireplace installation manual. You can install Scamatech 225 directly to brick or stone walls. No need for support blocking. When installing Scamatech 225 to your existing walls, use recommended adhesives. It's also important to maintain a fastener spacing of 6 to 8 inches. Now you're ready to install the back panels. Make sure there is a 1.5 to 2 inch clearance from the floor. At this point, it is important to make sure your first panel is level. This will make the rest of the installation process easier. Next, we will be constructing the fireplace platform using Scamatech 225 material. You also have the option of constructing the fireplace platform using combustible material, such as wood. Check your local building code for requirements in your area, and also refer to the fireplace installation manual. Now that your fireplace platform is in place, it's time to construct the sidewalls. First, install one and a half inch support blocking for your sidewalls on the floor. Before installing your sidewalls, we recommend that they be pre-assembled. Depending on the height of the surrounding enclosure, it may be necessary to pre-assemble your panels using two boards. These boards must be supported using a minimum 4-inch wide joint plate. Next, add your support blocking to the front edges of your pre-assembled sidewalls. your sidewalls are installed, add one and a half inch support blocking to the ceiling.
Now you are ready to install the front panels of your fireplace enclosure. For this demonstration, we have chosen to use one panel to surround the fireplace. However, there are alternative methods. Refer to the Scamatech 225 installer's guide or our website for details. Assemble your bottom front panel by adding a minimum 4 inch wide joint plate to the top edge of the panel. It's very important that your front panel is only fastened to Scamatech 225. Do not fasten any part of Scamatech 225 to the fireplace unit. This is to allow for thermal expansion of the fireplace and to prevent any cracking issues. A minimum of 1 8 inch clearance must be maintained between Scamatech 225 and any surface of the fireplace. This is to allow for expansion and contraction of the fireplace. Before you install the top panel, install 1 and a half inch support blocking to the ceiling. Finish your installation by positioning the top panel. With Scamatech 225, you have the flexibility of choosing how you finish your fireplace enclosure, depending on your desired look. Here are some tips on how to apply various finishing techniques to Scamatech 225. Before you begin, you must thoroughly moisten your Scamatec surface with water. Next, apply your joint drywall taping compound. Now apply joint tape to all joints. In low temperature areas, use paper tape. In high temperature areas, use mesh tape. You can now apply corner bead. But avoid applying any metal frame or corner bead to the fireplace opening. This is due to thermal expansion. Once your mudding and taping is complete, you can proceed to prime and paint your fireplace enclosure. First, thoroughly moisten all Scamatech 225 product with water. Now, Apply a layer of thinset to the area to be tiled. Next, apply mesh joint tape. Now you're ready to install your tiles. Apply a layer of thinset to the back of each tile using a notch trowel and place each tile onto your fireplace enclosure. to using Scamatech 225 for your fireplace enclosure is that it eliminates the need for tar paper or metal lath when applying stone or brick finishing. Before you begin, thoroughly moisten all Scamatech product with water. Next, apply a scratch coat. We recommend using Thin Set rather than Mason or Mortar Mix. Thin Set adheres better to Scamatech 225 and also prevents the scratch coat from drying out too quickly. Now you can apply your mesh joint tape. Apply a layer of thin set to the back side of your stone or brick and install them onto your fireplace enclosure. <laughs> 